going on guys killer six in today's video i'm going to go over the six mini takedowns slash mini raid bosses the gearbox just added into borderlands 3 with the most recent patch now before we dive in let me start by saying that these raid bosses don't really have any kind of special dynamics they have a few cool little attacks and things that they can do but they're basically raid bosses and health only sort of like vermiverus from borderlands 2 or crawl Marax from borderlands 1 they're huge bullet sponges but the good thing about these true trials mini raids is that they have amazing loot the monarch Skull Masher, Chaos, and Atlas Replay, Backburner, Tizzy, and lots more. So let's start things off by going over how to unlock these True Trials maps, and then we'll cover what you can expect to get from these bosses. So the first one on Pandora that we're going to go to is on Devil's Razor. What you want to do is travel to Roland's Rest, and then I'm going to drive over to the location on the map and show you where it's at. All right, so you come over to this location, and it's near Boomtown where you meet Tiny Tina and the B Team, but this is where it's located at on your mini map. You uh, drop down on this ledge, and you come around to this location right here this one's the trial of survival so the next one is on splinterlands there's actually two on pandora so for the splinterlands one i like to travel to the chop shop fast travel and then we're going to grab a car and i'll drive over there and show you guys all right so for this proven grounds you have to drive through the desert a little bit near the amusement park and it's in this little rat cave and as you see it's tucked in back here in the back this one is the trial of cunning this one's the tink one and it's located right here on your map next we're going to promethea for the next one the first one here is at the very 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 beginning of meridian outskirts go to the meridian outskirts drop pod and you're just going to run down the hill and hang a hard left one thing you guys can do if you can't remember all these locations or if you don't watch this video and see these locations you can actually go on each of your maps and look at the exclamation points look for the things that say discover the trial of blank and this one's the trial of discipline there's two on eden six ones at floodmore basin the other ones at jacob's estate fastest way to do this one is to travel to the area where you have hammerlock and wayne right and then you're just going to come out the door and hang hard right all right so this one again like i said if you travel up here to naughty peak run out the door and then drop off the ledges and then you're going to run over here to this location trial of instinct the next one is also on eden six and it is at jacob's estate it's another fast and easy one to get to so you're going to spawn in here you're going to run around the uh the thing and you're going to head up to this location so i'll show you how to get there all right so we're going to mantle up this cliff there'll be some more enemies you can kill but then right here is the location for this one right here. This is the Trial of Fervor. All right, for this one, we're going to Desolation's Edge, which is the very first map that you go to on Necro Tefeo. And we're going to grab a car and drive over to this one. So you just drive across Desolation's Edge till you get to this spot right here, which is located there. And then we're just going to head back to this spot, which is where we get the Trial of Supremacy. Once you have gotten each of those missions, they will show up as a destination. So you just need to go to the bridge on Sanctuary and then travel to each of them. So we'll start with the ghost light beacon and as you see once you click that it'll start traveling and then you just got to go downstairs to where ellie is at and use the drop pod all right now that you've seen how to unlock each of the proving grounds or trials maps i am now going to tell you guys what items you can get from each of these bosses if you do them on true trial difficulty all right starting off with the ghost light beacon this is the trial of cunning in this one you can get the sickle and the skull masher now in order to use the skull masher you do need to have dlc2 which is guns love and tentacles this one is fairly challenging but it gives a great way to farm both the skull masher and the sickle the skull masher without having to fight ice of the invincible which maybe a lot of people don't even know that he's in the game it also gives you a chance to get a boom sickle boom sickle is one of those really hard to get items so this gives you a better way to, to maybe try and farm for that up next we got the gradient of dawn this is the trial of survival this one gives you the lob and the lucky seven and the lucky seven does require dlc one the lucky seven is a really really good pistol for both Moe's and Flack. This is an easy one. The Gradient of Dawn is really easy. Take something that's fire elemental with you because it's going to be what most of the enemies are weak against. However, the final boss has the tendency to change its elements and whatever its first element is, is going to be resistant to that even when it switches to its second elemental phase. So make sure you have multiple elements with you when you go to do this thing. Now the Lob and the Lucky 7 are both good. Like I said, Lucky 7 is really good, but they're both easy to farm in their normal dedicated loot spots. So I would say probably this one's not one that you want to farm on a regular basis up next is my favorite of the trials and if you've seen any of my this gun freaking rocks or sucks videos then you know that i like to go to this map to test out things this one is the precipice anchor which is the trial of discipline for the rewards on this one when you kill the boss you get the chaosin and or the flipper now in order to use the flipper you will need dlc3 which is the bounty of blood which is also my favorite dlc these are two of the best smgs in the game be on the lookout for an adapting chaos 
system, which is a times two, and make sure that the fire rate on it is like 10 or below. That means it's going to be full auto. For the flipper, just look for max damage in whatever elements you need. This one's honestly one of my favorite ones to go farm so far. The final boss is weak to corrosive. So if you have a corrosive monarch and a revolter shield, you're going to do some pretty good work on this guy. Up next, the Hall of City, and this is the Trial of Supremacy. Now, this one has one of those items that most of the people in here are going to be wanting to go get the monarch but it also has the atlas replay now the atlas replay you can normally only get by going and killing hemavorus or you can get it randomly from other named enemies in dlc 6 but not having to fight hemavorus to get this thing a lot of people might be interested in this so the monarch and the atlas replay from the trial of supremacy this one is actually one of the faster ones to run through as well so i highly recommend this and especially go through this with some friends man you guys can get some pretty good loot pretty quick up next the sky drowned pulpit this is the trial of fervor this is the hardest of all of them because you have to go through an armor bar on this guy and then you have to go through a normal health bar and then it resets so you have to go through the armor bar and the health bar again this entire run is a long one just to get through all the waves of enemies and then you get to the boss and then guess what you get you can get a maggie and a convergence the convergence requires dlc4 by the way which is the psycho creek fantastic fuster Cluck. you can go farm the convergence pretty easily from its own source not the easiest thing in the world to get but far easier than doing this to go get it and the maggie already has a good dedicated source that's pretty easy to farm as well honestly this is the hardest and the least rewarding of all the true trials i would say avoid this one like the plague finally you've got the wayward tether this is the trial of instinct this is honestly probably the best combo of items aside from maybe the chaos and flipper the monarch and the atlas replay are both pretty amazing too but from the wayward tether you get the back burner and the tizzy now the tizzy does require dlc5 which is the designer's cut which is arms race this one is honestly in my opinion the most rewarding and it's fairly fast and easy bring incendiary weapons you're gonna fight a lot of jabbers and then the final boss is weak to fire or radiation as well this thing is a pretty quick and easy run now another cool thing about wayward tether there is a rare enemy that you can find in wayward tether called a shiny grog be on the lookout for the shiny grog here's a picture of it right here on the screen in case you want to see what you need to look for this thing can drop legendaries it doesn't have its own dedicated legendary or anything like that which would be really dope if it had like something really rare but unfortunately it doesn't super cool if it did gearbox just saying but also be on the lookout for loot jabbers while you're doing this as well this place is polluted with loot jabbers so if you have not yet gotten yourself a rhina or if you just want to get some random legendaries to drop this is probably the best overall proven grounds just to run to get amazing loot obviously make sure you activate the podium before you accept the mission for all of these true trials this might sound like a no-brainer but i literally went through the entire sky drowned pulpit before i realized that i forgot to activate it and let me tell you there's nothing worse in borderlands 3 than going all the way through sky drowned pulpit and realizing you forgot to turn on true trials because i didn't get squat for it the cool thing about these are they are basically like miniature takedowns now you run through mobs you gain amazing xp you get some exceptional rewards as guaranteed drops also don't forget on true trials the time limit is fully optional and regardless of your time you're going to get guaranteed legendary loot out of the final chest make sure you do kill all the optional things and try not to die during this because you want to get all of your optional check marks i don't know if not getting those takes away from your legendaries i actually haven't died or forgotten to do any of the challenges yet so make sure you do all the challenges if you have a cut purse launch pad you're going to want to bring that with you for the these bosses because they are bullet sponges so if you've been waiting for more raid bosses or challenging content in borderlands 3 this is it good luck happy hunting i hope this video was helpful to you if it was then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more thank you guys for watching take care